Okay, we're back. Now we're gonna go into the diner. At last, actually making progress. Well, I say that. I mean, we got two uh, pictures last time, so that was something. I guess. The smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware makes me feel thirteen again. You can tell Chloe's been here because look at the number of pictures of Rachel Amber. Oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. Twenty-fifth annual Happy Halloween Bazaar. Wow, this is actually not too far away from. Wow, oh, maybe it's a good thing I had these. Mayor Cochrane leads the Kitty Costume Parade Saturday, October twenty-seventh, nine a.m. to three p.m. Main Street Arcadia Bay. Ooh. Great pumpkin carving contest, local vendors and food trucks, tricks and treats, ooh, and happy Halloween! I'm sorry for that stupid voice, but I felt like that would be the funnest way to do the voice. Good lord, talk about apocalyptic. Welcome to Pan Estate. Pescott Development invites you to live within the woods. Affordable luxury homes. Forest Ocean Lighthouse views coming soon to change the way you live. So are the Pescots just making everyone go in the loop, live in the woods while well, they actually get to live over us? Oh wow, there are quite a lot of people to talk to. Let's just see before actual progress. Don't tell me this will be another unproductive episode. Really? Even friggin' here? Ah, uh, gross. Wow, next picture. Seriously? That's we got half my pictures already. Huh. All right. Vinny has to be quite a short chapter. Fish. Oh, whoops. Oh, flush with That graffiti person. has oh. been here forever. Ah, this graffiti pisses me off. Thank you, redneck poet. Okay, dear gay sucks deck. Oh, I tried to fix the camera, but I just got more confused. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. <laughs> I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. Yeah, that was kind of touristy. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. You'd never know how weird anything is by postcards. They're pretty generic. I might make Chloe check this out with me. Sasquatch field trip. Explore the wild woods of Arcadia Bay with respected crypto cryptozoologist Chuck Pierce Jr. Author of Bigfoot, Myth of Science, and Bigfoot, Monster of Sasquatch. Narrator of the documentary, Bigfoot, I believe in you. <laughs> Join Chuck every Saturday and Sunday for a full half day of hiking to the sites where Bigfoot is most likely to appear. Chuck will share his extensive knowledge, extensive knowledge of lore, legend, and fact, and you'll end the day casting your own, very own Bigfoot print. It's now known only to Chuck Pierce Jr. For more info, price, and detailed schedule, please contact Sasquatch Lives at wildtracks.gu. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, I love it. Why does that so not sound fun? We'll be deck tours. Explore Arcadia Bay the right way. Discover exciting history on the high sea. Journey in total safety and comfort. Fully equipped 40 to 50 foot vessels. Day and night trips available. Couples, groups, or families working. Welcome. Ugh, I can't speak. Tuesdays to Sunday, hours 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. Visit us on the web to schedule your tour now. On the web? Wow, that was in like 1901. This guy has serious coronas. Join the coast. The coaster? Coastu? I have no idea. Oh, they see adventure. Now charter the legendary seaman for you. <laughs> no, charter the legendary seaman. 
and five, I'm sorry. Now Charter the Legendary Sea Man for your own ocean voyage. Jack Costru. Oh, it's his name. Jack Costru and his undersea worlds. You've seen him on TV. Read about read about him in the news. A local captain, fisherman, and marine expert with thirty years experience will take your grip on a three hour tour of KG Base, Alaskan Exotic Aquatic Kingdom. Jack will not only explain the importance of our marine life to the ecosystem, he will even help you catch and prepare your own fish from the sea. Daily and weekly excursions. Rate seventy five to hundred and five twenty five dollars for further do for further details, please visit our website, seacostufish.gu. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Oh, that would be disgusting. Right? Coming up at noon, KBay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual God, so snowfall pixelated. on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So, stay tuned to KBay 7 News for the real story. God, some of the voice acting in this game is good, but some of it's so shitty. I love it. It's so bad. I always wonder what people think about when they eat alone. Well, let's find out. Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Okay, firstly, she's Canadian, secondly, yeah. Okay, she's way too enthusiastic, so I can see why. These fishermen are so damn quiet. To be a bit weird. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. <laughs> God, what an edge rod. Ew, that guy looks unpleasant. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. Oh, who does he look like? He I reminds guess you're me friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? That Ron Hanks guy. He has a reputation. He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. Did he? At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. So you uh, well you know to be a guess? I know her delicious grub. Mm -hmm. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. Chloe. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Wow, so you like David, Just heard Chloe don't... even had a pot dealer in her room. Who told you? Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said that we belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell the loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Fight, fight, Sounds fight, like you're fight, a good fight, fight, fight. I wish oh. she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. Whoa, Max. One thing I can say to certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. <laughs> Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say. So that means I'm gonna have to interact. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Probably. He's definitely gonna be in power. Obviously, I'm not definitely obvious now. Oh, it's the skated bros. Justin is such a mellow dude. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Hey, Trevor. 
Holomax, by the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Oh my, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. God, yeah, so and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, still... he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See in class, Max. <laughs> What's up, Justin? Jesus Christ. Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? <laughs> I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. That doesn't sound you as cool up, as you Max. make it sound, Max. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? Max, why did you say this kind of guy's so tight? Speaking of Jesus buds. Christ. I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. I'm really enjoying this game, but Jesus Christ, some of the writing sometimes. What is up, my fellow teenagers? Or whatever the meme That's is. funny. Our family never went well watching. Looks fun. Oh, I can change the song. Whoa, can Keys be with Joyce? That's so perfect. I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Oh, it's pronounced apropos. I thought it was a propos. I have no idea. Banjo tune. Wait, don't tell me I'm stuck with this now. I just put it on because it would be I fun. I got you, babe. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> How apropos. Oh, but no, no I should have put on the guitar one. No. <laughs> Why did I make this mistake? I forgot about the fishing wall. Two music. No. I'm probably doing all right with that. Alright. Almost there. Oh, I'm just want to talk to my schoolmates. What? Everything. You know what? That was actually kind of accurate as to what my thought process is like. So I can't Truckers have such a romantic that. life. Always on the road. Oh, uh, that doesn't hello? To me. Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Everything is an eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Oh, wow, you're a jerk. Joyce rules. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Wow, you're a dick. Hopefully this trucker's a bit nicer. I wouldn't last one day as a trucker. Those rigs are too damn big. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Still Over a nicer guy. Still a way nicer guy than the last one. Okay, finally, progress being made. Whoop whoop. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Aww. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. <laughs> but not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. No, he's not. He's yeah, an ass. I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. It surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. 
I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. To be fair. Anyway, David's an ass. You. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories. Joe seems like a good person. I'm glad, least. Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Uh Chloe understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, Pardon. tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. To be fair, her stepfather I is an right. absolute yeah. asshole. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. He's got but secret cameras. you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. I did. And... I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. Yeah, but he's still an he asshole. He does care about her. Does he? Along with all the does students he? at Black Does Black. he? Oh, I kind of want to say he cares about Kate Marks, but that's a bit savage. I get, I get it. it I don't want to be I know Chloe mean still to Joyce. To things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I, I don't believe I he cares about Kate. About time. But I, I just don't right, want Joyce. to start confrontation from so, confrontation. Sake. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Uh, bacon omelet. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. <laughs> yeah. She seems like a nice person. So she has to put with David. One bacon omelet for the young lady staff. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. What are the prices like? Whoa, okay, I'm not reading all that one. This is seem to not be too terrible as far as I am an American current to. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end here for this episode. Next episode, uh, I guess we're gonna make more progress. We continue to make very slow progress, but hey, it's little by little. You're watching like 15 minutes episodes. It's a 15 minute long episodes of me doing nothing but explore and then progress and then nothing but exploring and then progress and then nothing but exploring and then progress. Must be so entertaining to watch. Ha 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 ha. Also, I have lost my hankies and need to blow my nose. I'm probably cutting that bit out. Unless it's funny not to. Alright. See you guys next time.